What's up YouTube? Just got back from Foot Locker where I found the Nike LeBron 17. Quite an interesting sneaker. This is, I believe, the Future Air colorway. Let's check it out. As you would notice, it's pretty conventional LeBron shoe right here. Got the LeBron James logo with the crown. I will point out that this is the new Nike size tag. And it says LeBron 17 Limited LMTD. I wonder if this is actually limited or a general release. Quite a nice box top, in my opinion. It says LeBron 17 in Roman numerals. Quite a gorgeous golden color they used. They got the King James line in the background, in my opinion. Nike logo there. Crown, I believe. Crown at the back. first time I'm opening up the shoes so we'll get to look at them together at the same time and if you haven't got a chance to pick these up you can check out the link in the description to purchase them on stock act you might be able to get them for under retail now right here is the first thing I'm going to talk about remove before launch I love these little accessories these shoes have these days. Quite a lot of detail right there. Nike Air Max technology. A lot, a lot of information. Nice little keychain. Well, let's actually check the check the sneaker out. You know. Definitely does look very interesting. Got a massive air unit. Apparently this is the biggest air unit that they've ever had in LeBron. And several zoom units in the front here. I think there's probably four. Pretty nice shoe if you ask me. Let's check out the inside here. It's orange. Got quite a lot going on in the sole. Let's see if we can get a better look. Pointing out some cushion patterns, some zoom units in there. You can read that. You get extra points. For some reason, oh, it says LRJ in there. Underneath the Nike logo. Okay. As I was saying before, if you haven't had a chance to pick these up and you're looking for them, check them out on StockX. There's an affiliate marketing link to buy them in the description. Let's just throw this in the background here. Get this video a nice little LeBron James background vibe going on. Ultimately, these are kind of crazy. Like, look at look at this little visor thing that they have. Apparently, it's supposed to be reminiscent of NFL visors or something like that. But you can see like the face of a little lion cub. I guess you could say. I don't know see a lot of other things. Maybe if you abused some substances, you'd be able to see a lot more than I see, but as it is, it's interesting enough, you know. It's very intriguing to look at. And I just want to take some time to look at this like 
battle net, fly net technology that they're using these days. Like, look at how complicated that looks. There's a lot going on here. As you can see, like, it's like darkness, there's patterning, there's cushion patterns, there's pattern within the actual fly net or battle net or whatever they're calling it these days. Quite nice, and as usual, I'm going to throw them on. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Let's check out the bottoms here. You know, like, this is quite a nice shoe. The colorway itself, is quite special. I should, I should also tell you, they've got both removed before launch. Move before launch tag on both sneakers. The colorway is definitely something I'm intrigued by, I guess you could say. Let's zoom out a little bit maybe for this on foot portion of the video. It's white and orange. I know there's going to be a lot of colorways to come out. I know these are going to hit the Nike outlet at some point. Maybe not this OG colorway, but we'll see, you know? These are definitely going to hit Nike outlet. I'm definitely grabbing a lot of these from the Nike outlet, hopefully. Hopefully LeBron does well this year so his shoes continue selling throughout the postseason. There's, there's a lot of like complications with this lace system. Everything's covered up here, but we're gonna throw these on. We'll get over it. I'm gonna keep this little, oh wow, there's a lot of cushioning. Wow, I just feel like my, my shoe, my foot entered a cloud just now. It does feel kind of tight right here, but maybe that's because the laces are still on. The laces are still tight. I know in my last video I made, somebody was really disappointed to see that as soon as I put the shoe on, I already said, wow, this is comfortable. And I only had one shoe on and I was sitting down, but you know what? When you try as many shoes on as I do, you kind of get an understanding of what's comfortable and what's not. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. This is a relatively complicated lacing system, I must admit. Like, I have no idea what's going on there. Like, there's an extra bit of lace here. I'm trying to figure out where it goes. I'm sure it goes this way. I don't particularly love how it looks when you tie it over this little visor thing that they have. But we'll get over it. We'll try on the next pair. Loosen this up right here. Just stuff my foot in this one so we don't have to loosen it up too much. Okay. I know it's taking a lot of time to throw these on, but that's what happens when you put a massive visor on top of the laces. It's hard to see what's going on. Ultimately, these are probably one of the most comfortable and sticky pairs of LeBrons I've ever tried on. Like, I'm sure you can hear the grip, which is always a good sign. And I, for one, I prefer something that squeaks. I think I would play basketball on these. I mean, the last pair of LeBrons I tried on, I was like, not too in love with, but 
I definitely think these are one of the better pair of LeBrons I've ever tried. Like, as soon as I put them on, like, I felt like my foot entered a cloud, as I said earlier. Let's just keep them on for a while. Maybe consider... Consider how I feel about them. Now, if you're interested in the pants, because they do stack well and people like this kind of look, when they're wearing sneakers, at least that's what they tell me. You can check them out. There's a link to purchase them or similar ones on Amazon. These are nudie lean beans. I get a length that's a little bit too long for me so that they stack like this. Anyway, it's an Amazon affiliate link. It'll support the channel. It's in the description. If you want to check it out, that would be great. Definitely tell me what you think of them in the comment section below. Like, I'm not usually too excited to play basketball in LeBron, but I think I might have to with these. I have a strong preference for Kyrie 2s. I think they're the greatest basketball shoes I've ever had. I guess for someone my size, they're they're better. Apparently these LeBrons are for bigger guys, but I think I think I could I could pull it off playing with these. I'm having a hard time taking these off. I'll be honest with you. They're quite nice. Let me know if you want to see some on-court footage with these, we might be able to pull it off. Let's get that thumbnail in real quick. I think that's a great thumbnail. Thanks for watching the video. If you like content like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more. I'm gonna thank you for watching one more time. I'm gonna throw the shoes on the floor. Like, oh my god, everything is just like, this feels like a, a cloud right there. It's a very soft air unit. Thanks for watching the video again for the last time. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out this cushioning that they have right here. Like, there's cushioning in the tongue. Like, this is a really well thought out shoe. I'd suggest you go try them on, and if you don't really have time to try them on, just check out the link to buy them on StockX in the description and buy them. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.